Hello, and thank you for joining our Fireside Chats at the European Cardano community. I am Marcus, one of the core team members, and if you like what we are doing, please consider supporting our individual projects. At time of this recording, these are Davide's Rookies Game, Ricardo's Web3 User Group, or delegating to my Cardano stake pool with the ticker birth to support us at Larissa Health. You will find the links to our guests and our projects below the video. Now hit the notification bell, give us a thumbs up, and enjoy this session. This is going to be wonderful. <laughs> yes. Hey, Logan. Hey, Logan. Hey, everybody's here. Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to another fantastic appointment with our... Uh, we can call it fireside chat, but today is something very different. And uh, what do you say, Marcus? It's a winter edition, I would say. <laughs> yeah, it's a Christmas edition. Is uh, <laughs> we have a lot of stuff to discuss, but there is a different format this time. Absolutely, and it's going to be wonderful. Unexpected things. We planned it totally different, and thanks to a huge participation of the community. It's turning out to be something really unique. Yes. Love it. Impressive, really. So everybody's here. I mean, it's, that's cool. Yeah. That's good. Hello, everybody. Hey. So what do we have here? Um, we have a lot of folks from everywhere. Um, we have a lot of people that know each other already for a long time and some new faces. And um, today we're going to present something that is very new, that is um, with a lot of help from, from a lot of people from the community. We have a little reflection beforehand, what happened, uh, who we are currently and where we are and what is planned to be ahead. So with that, let's hop on to the next slide, I would say. Yes. Okay. Our mantra. So keep your notes up to date. There has been a new version out there right now. Try to study or learn something new every day. Support and connect with community members for synergy and goals. Be inclusive, friendly, and wise with words, even in anger. Remember, there's still catalyst going on, um, but I think this time is a, another time. Um, share information without destroying dreams, people, or the reputation. And I think, Davide, we have a proposal this time, currently, still ongoing. Yes, yes, indeed. We have uh, our, our financial proposal for the European Tunnel. Last uh, round, we got funded and we managed to do fantastic things. We are currently doing those for such chats uh, regularly every two weeks. We are doing a lot of fixed spaces, Twitter spaces, in several different languages in the European community, proposing and presenting projects, presenting people that is active in the community. I think we are doing a very good job. And I should not be the one that will say that, but I'm very proud to be part of this team. <laughs> I think we saw that on Twitter recently. That, yes. Uh, <laughs> some people like what we do. Uh, um, so a short reflection of what has been in the year. Um, we have been building. Uh, we are still building on our frameworks. Um, one of those will be presented today. Um, we are testing together. We've been invited by um, Clarity DAO. Um, we're testing with them. Um, we are very, very grateful for, for that chance. Um, we are, um, what is that? We're, we're testing all different multi-signature wallets, which is an amazing experience, um, shows us a lot. And uh, we're building for founders and we're building for the fireside chats. Um, there's a lot of things in the pipeline, and um, yeah, now we're just enjoying and helping, uh, hoping to be back with our families soon. And Ricardo, thank you for introducing what we are presenting now. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit about that and how it came to fruition? What happened over the last weeks and months? Uh, what is the story here? What is the outcome um, to be expected? And how did it all go? All right. So thank you very much, Marcus. Uh, and uh, welcome, everybody. Um, very, very glad, very happy to be here today in this uh, special version of our European Town Hall. Um, it has been such an amazing year for me, but uh, the story begins a bit earlier than that even. So more or less two years ago, 
um, I was completely new to crypto. Um, my nephew um, was running an NFT project based on Cardano. And he was the one who introduced me to, to the space, basically. And um, interestingly, um, even though, you know, I am uh, an engineer, I, I deal with um, risk management for what I live. I am a very careful investor, etc. When I discovered these NFTs and, you know, 2021 was the time of the hypes, um, you know, I just formed into, into this uh, new world, new world for me at that time. And um, yeah, uh, the first uh, swap went pretty, pretty well, like double the money, right? <laughs> Uh, with one NFT. Um, and then I, I got excited. I even told my children, which were like, I don't know, 11 and uh, eight. Yeah. Hey, listen, uh, you can put in money there. Uh, you can double your money. It's a great new world. Uh, let's let's do it. So long story short, um, I, I even got my kids to invest in, in NFTs and, and, and other stuff. And uh, of course, it was a soft rock pool. Yeah, at the time. And um, it was very, on the emotional side, extremely cumbersome and, and difficult for me, uh, even to the to the point that I was very close to, uh, um, yeah, uh, how do you call it, burnout. Yeah, uh, luckily, uh, friends and family helped me out, um, and um, also I discovered um, that uh, yeah, doing doing good for the world uh, is something that gives me energy and motivates me. Um, and this is how, um, yeah, the idea was born at some point in time, you know, to do something um, in the blockchain space on one side to protect people uh, from doing the same mistakes I, I did. Uh, and on the other side, to create impact in the world. Maybe, Davide, we can move on two slides. Um, so... The problem today, uh, crypto in the media today, um, and it is, uh, I guess, uh, oh. sorry, there is a, hello, you can mute. I did that. Okay. All right. Um, so in the media today, especially in, in countries like Germany, like the Netherlands, um, many other countries in, 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 in Europe, um, you only are confronted with a negative uh, part of, of crypto. Yeah? Um, scams, um, some ransomware attacks, some phishing, um, terrorism fun funding, uh, a lot of uh, yeah, all the negative things that we all know about, selling drugs, buying drugs, etc. But uh, yeah, somehow the, the positive parts of crypto, uh, making banking and, and, and financial systems available to people that don't have any, uh, somehow this is not published, yeah? or at least um, it's uh, hard to find such information. And um, the question is, what can we do? What can the Web3 space do um, in order to yeah, counteract um, this uh, mindset and this... Uh, information flood, you know, which is uh, reaching a lot of people um, in their 30s, 40s, 50s, people that could have um, the possibility to engage in the system, but for many reasons at the moment, they are yeah, stepping, stepping outside. And sometimes if they manage to get in, you know, then um, there is a high risk that they will jump, I don't know, in, in some kind of project, shady stuff like I did with the NFTs um, uh, at that time. Uh, and um, yeah, I'm not saying that NFT products in general are, are bad. There are so many great products out there. Uh, but unfortunately, and especially now during these market conditions, um, there is a lot of uh, yeah, bad things going on. So um, let's go to the next slide, please. Um, so in a nutshell, our strength in the Web3 space and particularly also in the Cardano environment is the strength of our community. We have, uh, besides the central initiatives uh, um, for Cardano Catalyst, uh, we have also this uh, town halls, uh, which were born a couple of years ago, uh, also um, under um, the coordination of Catalyst Swarm. So big shout out to those people uh, who created a lot of uh, the movement uh, be behind this regional town halls. 
And uh, yeah, um, I think we have some people from each of the six uh, town halls, uh, which have been very active in the past. And uh, yeah, uh, we are representing here uh, the European Cardano community with Marcus and, and Davide. And maybe Marcus and Davide, you can say some few words about yourself, uh, about how we all, uh, yeah, this uh, uh, got started. And then we go, um, yeah, uh, with LATAM, then Pacific, uh, then um, Africa Town Hall, and then MENA. Thank you. Thank you, Ricardo. Well, I have not much to add to what Ricardo already said. We met a couple of years ago. It was uh, the first time I tried to uh, join Project Catalyst. It was FUN9, and I had a very good idea about uh, assisting to fund uh, ONGs, NGOs, and uh, other charity associations that unfortunately didn't pass through. But uh, I was uh, very impressed by meeting all the community that was around the town hall and the after town halls and chatting with everybody in the in that rooms. And then uh, I met the other guys, Ricardo, Marcus, Mauro, that is not here tonight, unfortunately. And we decided to start this because uh, Europe was not uh, having a more local presence in the town halls community. So we had this idea and we started doing stuff and we are keep doing it with a great passion. Personally, I'm a software developer now, mostly I'm a game developer. I, I have another project now in the current Catalyst round for a management game about motorcycle racing. And I really hope to get your votes, but uh, please remember also to vote for the for the European Town Hall because we are doing very nice stuff. Thank you. Yeah, yeah Mark. <laughs> Everything is said. Uh, it's wonderful to be with you guys. Um, that's actually, in a nutshell, what I want to say. Um, the year was a lot of up and downs. Um, we've been investing a lot of time and effort into growing this. Um, it's a nice um, thing that when you approach the projects and people that don't know you at all and you just invite them. And I think we have a very open mindset and a very wide open arms. And um, I think we're trying to be kind of a good version of what we can be. And um, crypto has learned you can't trust everybody. And um, so some people are very skeptical in the beginning and it's heartwarming to see uh, people here that have been skeptical before and now are trying to support us. And um, yeah, I think we will continue with the outreach uh, of what we do. Okay. We, have our own um, projects. we have our own projects and support us. And um, yeah, we keep going. That's it. Very cool. All right. So maybe we continue with ladies first uh, with the MENA town hall. Uh, and uh, I see Johanna Atier uh, in the line. Uh, Joanna, maybe you can um, yeah, come to the stage and say some words about yourself, about MENA, and about yeah, the vision of having a global initiative. Yeah, sure. Hi, everyone. Uh, happy to be here. Um, yeah, so we are at the MENA community, so Middle East, North Africa. Uh, we've been steadily growing over the past two years now. Um, we're mostly on WhatsApp. That's just because everyone uses WhatsApp in the region. Um, but yeah, everyone's really passionate about Cardano. We're very passionate about, so uh, as well, like uh, I run a mission-driven stake pool, Lekul, which is mainly around um, facilitating the adoption of Cardano and blockchain in general in the region. Um, so we're always trying to partner with any greater initiatives that, you know, serve um, uh, like uh, anything that's good in the world, really. But yeah, we're very happy to be a part of this as well. Uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, um, from uh, the African Town Hall, I think we have um, Daniel, right? Daniel, maybe you could say some words about you guys. Hi. Hey. Hey, my name is Daniel. Um, I am Cardano Ambassador as well, and a part of the Catalyst African Town Hall Community Coordinators. Um, the Catalyst African Town Hall, we have been operating for about two years now. Uh, we noticed that um, it's very important that we introduce blockchain to Africa because uh, it seems like um, the education wasn't that, is not there and people are not aware of even Cardano blockchain. 
So what we're doing is that apart from our bi-weekly meeting that we do virtual meetings that we meet every two weeks, we also host uh, physical meetups in um, the African uh, countries. Um, we have had three so far on the project that we got funded, um, Cardano uh, Project Catalyst, we got funded to um, host a physical meetup event and we had our first meeting in Uganda and we had about 50, 55 students that attended. And then we also had another one in uh, Nigeria. So we are gathering students and teaching them about Cardano blockchain technology. And we also noticed that most of these students are also interested and they want to learn more about the, the technology behind the blockchain. So we have also put in another proposal to train um, this student that we are introduced at Cardano to. Some of them want to be Cardano solution architect. And that is our next project that we are about to run if we get funded, hopefully. And we are very happy to be part of this um, initiative. Uh, thank you very much, whoever that brought this plan. Um, Ricardo and your team and the European Town Hall, we are very happy and we would like to be part and then take part. So if there's any more questions, please you can just send a message to the group, uh, to the chat, and I'll reply you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Um, I think Lucas Machiavelli, uh, representing uh, also the LATAM community, uh, unless, um, Lucas, I don't know if somebody else from the team in um, LATAM uh, joined today, um, because you also will have another hat, uh, another role uh, later in the presentation. Lucas, are you there? Okay, I saw him before on the list, but maybe uh, in the meantime, we can proceed with uh, the Eastern Town Hall. Yes, hello. Can hey. anyone hear me? Yes, hi, welcome. Welcome. Ah, thank you, thank you. So I'm representing Mitran. Uh, my name's Jan, and I'm a representative of the Eastern Town Hall. Like uh, the all uh, the other awesome town halls, I think we basically started at the same moment we, about two years ago. And moving along, our focus was on education. Our focus was on creating collaborations with universities, of infecting their minds with uh, Cardano and the teachings of Cardano, and hopefully creating a syllabus together with these universities on uh, Cardano. Because uh, Eastern Town Hall um, is situated in East Asia, where the market is quite large if, uh, in crypto, unfortunately, the exposure of Cardano is still very limited. Uh, hence, our approach is more towards uh, education, and hence why we're also uh, uh, became very interested and attracted to uh, Ricardo's idea about having this global Cardano effort to support NGOs. Because uh, one of the missions of NGOs, uh, not all of them though, is uh, education. And uh, we feel it's a natural extension of our current activities. And hopefully also the, the other activities of uh, the town halls, which seeks to uh, increase exposure of uh, Cardano. So looking forward to collaborating with everyone. I think this is the first instance where we collaborate. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Jan. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, uh, it, it is. Uh, and I think it's about time. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, I think there are good things uh, to come. Uh, from having this common goal, com common objective. And thank you so much for representing um, Eastern Town Hall and also Mia Tran. Uh, I know it's very late um, in, in um, Vietnam, uh, but yeah, I'm sure uh, we will um, have her participation because she's also one of the trustees. Um, and yeah, with that, uh, we continue, I hope, uh, with uh, Lucas Machiavelli. Uh, he told me he has some internet connection problems, but Lucas, are you there now? And can you hear us? Yeah, he's just joining. Um, okay, all right. Let's give him a couple of seconds. There you go, he is. Lucas, can you hear us? Uh, it says joining. Lucas. Hello, guys. 
Yeah, yeah. now we can hear you. Hi. Hi. Hi now, Lucas. Lucas uh, say some words about LATAM. Hello, sorry. I was hearing you guys before, but my connection dropped and I just couldn't log in, so I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, just talking a little bit about, about LATAM. Actually, I was thinking right now, today is December 21st, and it marks literally just two years of the LATAM town hall. Um, way back in December 21st, 2021, we, we decided to start hosting the Latin American town hall. And basically, the, the town hall started because we felt like we needed a, a, a space to, to talk about Cardano in our own languages, even though we all spoke in, in English. Um, it's not the same. Um, you don't connect the, the same way when you speak your native language. And I feel like pretty much every co regional community thinks the same. Um, but yeah, it's been a crazy, a crazy trip. We did lots of events, a lot of governance workshops. We've, we've done a lot. We still got a lot to do. Um, but yeah, quite excited initiative you, you guys are doing here. And yeah, more, I'm so excited to, to start working on it and, and yeah, actually launch it. Very cool. Thank you so much, uh, Lucas, uh, for joining. And um, yeah, I think uh, we have one more, uh, the Pacific Town Hall. Um, I didn't get uh, a message from Nori, um, uh, who is representing um, the Pacific Town Hall in Canada. Uh, but hopefully in one of the upcoming sessions, um, he will be able to participate and say some words about the mission and vision for the Pacific Town Hall. All right, I think we can go to the next slide. Um, David? Yeah, okay. All right, so what is Cardano Gives? Cardano Gives is basically a framework um, that is aiming to implement and execute um, recurring global donation campaigns. Um, so it's not going to be one donation for one uh, beneficiary. Uh, it's a set, it's uh, a framework. And uh, we have been describing uh, this extensively in a Git book uh, and involving many, many different stakeholders from the Cardano ecosystem. And uh, our vision, our goal long-term is also to, uh, mid-term long-term is to engage also with other ecosystems uh, and maximize the impact in the Web3 area. So um, we, would do, we will do respective fundraising campaigns which are carried out worldwide, so in collaboration between all the different regional town halls. Uh, and uh, on a rotation principle, we'll have different beneficiaries uh, getting the spotlight, getting the support um, one at a time. And um, the goal is to have uh, the determination of the uh, beneficiaries uh, via an open voting process uh, involving all members of the Cardano community. And uh, next slide, please. Yeah, here just a brief summary of the, the different town halls. Um, and uh, yeah, I think we can skip this one. That's also because Italy is missing. Uh, <laughs> all right. So um, what uh, does belong to this concept? So I will only give the, the highlights. Uh, and uh, whoever is interested, we have published uh, all this uh, Gitbook information uh, to the web. So anybody can uh, have a look uh, and uh, get in contact with the different town halls with us as a, as a coordinating team. Um, so, but uh, the main idea is that we will have a multi-signature wallet uh, we have created um, on the Summon platform. Um, and uh, we have five of seven signatures for any outgoing transactions. That is, that is the protection method. And we have uh, taken care uh, that the seven identified uh, people um, are trusted community members. We have described this role um, in very much detail in the Gitbook. And uh, yeah, with this, uh, uh, we can move to the next slide. And um, yeah, the next concept would be about um, your vote. You, as the Cardano community, we are addressing you as our customer, if you like, uh, because we want to take important decisions with your involvement. So everybody uh, should have a say in what we do, how we do it, etc. And here are some examples of the ballots of the decisions that we want to take together with you. One, most important, which nonprofit organizations shall receive the donations? For example, which percentage of collected funds may be used for marketing or promotion activities uh, or administration purposes? 
Um, next question could be, um, if we get some NFT donations, what do we do with those? Do we sell them? Do we auction them? Do we donate them? Maybe there are other ideas. So um, this is important for us. Uh, we want to make this all inclusive. We want to make this open. Any change to our Gitbook will be published immediately. Uh, any comment is uh, welcome. And uh, yeah, let's do this uh, um, a common endeavor of everyone in the Cardano environment. And uh, yeah, we will have a Cardano Gives channel in our respective Cardano communities, but also in X, in Telegram, in Discord. So feel free to reach out to ask your questions. And of course, if you want to volunteer because you're a graphic designer, because you want to uh, work with us in the risk management part, because you want to um, have a look at the legal aspects and, and contribute, uh, more than welcome. So uh, your participation is going to be key to make this a success. Next slide, please. All right. So now handing over um, to Isad Begum. Um, Welcome, Isad. Thank you so much. Uh, Isad Begum, uh, thank you very much for joining us today. I hope um, um, you can say some words about yourself, about the initiative, um, and yeah. Anyway. Thank you very much. Um, first of all, good evening, everyone, or good morning, or good morning next day, I guess, breakfast time. Thank you very much for having me here today and also for asking me to join uh, the Board of Trustees. So. The reason why it says chair and member of boards is because I'm chair on other boards, not here today, uh, to be clear. Um, I'm an international tax attorney. I've also been a CFO, COO, and a CEO, and I run today my advisory strategic, uh, strategic advisory firm called Imani Partners. I'm an advisor, a board member to a number of projects. Some people in the room today are very friendly faces, and I'm saying hi to Simon, Logan, but also my team, Marcus, Ricardo, Davide. Hi, everyone. I happen to be um, of Indian and Iranian descent, but yet my family transited um, in Africa for almost a century, and therefore my parents are from Madagascar and Kenya. So yay, Africa Town Hall. Uh, my brother is in the house, Daniel. Hi. Um, so I'll be more than happy to provide any guidance I can here. As you can hear, and some of you already know, I would be having a more strategic financial, legal, and tax oversight. I also happen to do a PhD on taxation of crypto assets, final year ahead of me. Um, and so I bring all that um, to this uh, initiative Cardano mm -hmm. gives. So thank you. If you have any questions today or tomorrow, you can reach out on LinkedIn because I'm on the dark side of 4-0. Uh, but I do check my Telegram and Discord every day. Thank you. Thank you so much, Reset. A big one now. Um, Alex, Alexandra Damsker, um, are you in the line? Can you hear us? And stage is all yours. Hi. Uh, so my kids are not in school right now. So just so you know, there's things happening here. <laughs> I'm Alexandra. I'm a corporate and securities attorney. I left a long uh, introduction. So most people might, you might know who I am. Um, I used to work at the Securities and Exchange Commission in the US. Um, and I have I've done quite a lot of legal work, but I also uh, founded two companies and exited. So I'm quite familiar with the business part um, with you know business in the U.S. particularly in growth and scaling, and um, I uh, now do quite a lot of advisory work to uh, both crypto companies. I've been in uh, in um, blockchain since 2016, and um, and originally to found a company, but it was just too early, and uh, I advise quite a lot of projects, um, some funds and VCs, and an exchange. Um, I have a book on DeFi coming out um, in January from a publisher, and um, and I do a lot of education. So I agree with uh, the person who said education is a huge part of this, um, but my education was originally focused entirely on blockchain originally, but um, of the investors and people that I've met who are retail investors, uh, most of them don't have the grounding in um, in finance to really understand blockchain. So I do a lot of education on finance 
and um, and I do um, a lot of education on blockchain itself. And um, and then for the projects that we have, one of the biggest problems that we have is that they don't understand business. So I do a lot of startup education as well. So startups, finance, and blockchain all go together. And that's a lot of what I teach on. So that's what I do. Great. Thank you so much, Alex, for joining us today. Um, Mietran, unfortunately, cannot join us today, uh, but Jan um, uh, introduced uh, the Eastern Town Hall. She is one of the moderators uh, and um, I think founder uh, of or yeah, co-founder of the Vietnam uh, of the Eastern Town Hall and also a Cardano ambassador. So, um, yeah, hopefully in one of the upcoming information sessions about uh, Cardano Gives, uh, she will be able to join us. All right. Next slide, please. Okay. I think we go top, bottom to left, uh, yeah, bottom uh, left to uh, uh, top left to bottom right. Sorry about that. Um, Suresh, are you in the line? And can you introduce yourself, what you do, and um, why you decided to, to join this initiative? Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Suresh. Um, I'm a uh, physician based in Germany who is uh, also interested in um, a blockchain tech and uh, I um, really love learning about it and I would I like to write about what I have learned and uh, that's how I started uh, my journey as a content creator and um, I really uh, support this initiative uh, um, and I, I think it's a uh, um, you know, um, it's a meaningful one in the blockchain space. It's um, sometimes hard to find um, such initiative that adds a lot of value uh, to people. And um, yeah, and I would love to be a part of it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, your video was not on. Um, yeah, but uh, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> All right. Um, Patrick Tobler, unfortunately, uh, told me he is traveling from, um, I think, He's traveling from Japan or somewhere in Asia Pacific back to Germany. Um, so unfortunately, he he was not able to join. Um, so we would uh, also um, say hello to him in one of the upcoming sessions. Uh, but yeah, Lucas, um, before you were representing uh, LATAM, uh, but tell us a bit more about yourself, about your person. Um, and uh, yeah, that would be great. Oh, maybe still he's having some internet connection problems. Um, but but maybe maybe Mauro can tell us about Lucas. They uh, they know each other very well. Yes, uh, Mauro, can you hear us and can you say some words about Lucas Machiavelli? For sure, guys. I'm hello. How are you? Congrats right. again, Daphne and Marcus. Are camera is not on. Uh, maybe you could Sorry? the camera. No, I'm with the insurance guy. You oh, remember okay. that I explained today, yesterday, Ricardo? Yeah, so yeah. I have an accident, but everything is fine. No worries at all. Okay. Uh, Lucas is a Cardano ambassador, really great ambassador and marketing guy. He's trying to involve a lot of people in the ecosystem and trying to involve also people uh, in the Latin region showing up to the world the impacts and opportunities that are in this ecosystem. So yeah, that's a little bit about Lucas. And regarding the opportunities in the, in the region, here the government just announced that all the contracts in Bitcoin or another cryptocurrency will be fully legal. So we are doing a great work. <laughs> And let's hope that all the, this impact shows also in the European Union and the rest of the world for sure. Great. Thank you so much. All right. For Pete, uh, it is also middle in, of the night. I think it's like uh, 4 a.m. in the morning. So unfortunately, he also uh, was not able to join today. But yeah, let's go to the next slide. Um, again, uh, soon we will have the opportunity. Lucas could, Lucas could now. If oh Lucas, I have the add on. <laughs> okay. Yeah, hello. I just just got home, so my connection is is better now. So yeah, please. yeah. You do, do you have any questions? Or should I talk about something particularly? I want to introduce myself. 
yeah, introduce yourself and tell us uh, how you ended up in crypto. <laughs> oh, well, that's that's quite a, an interesting story. Then let me turn on my, my camera. Can you see me? Yes, we can see you. Oh, I'm wearing my, my Cardano shirt. I designed it myself <laughs> for Latin. <laughs> Yeah, you're beautiful. Um, yeah, I joined. I joined um, crypto way back in 2014. I was actually for 14 years old when it happened. I was looking on on ways of making money with my computer. I was obsessed with computer. I spent all my all my time, all all my holidays with a computer, and I started thinking, okay, how can I make it worth it? Right? How can I do it in a way that I'm not wasting time? <laughs> Um, so yeah, I stumbled into a YouTube video that says, well, you could mine Bitcoin if you want to. So way back in 2014, it wasn't something quite common. It wasn't common at all. So I started researching in, and yeah, it was, it was an interesting journey. I started mining with, with an old no notebook, um, didn't mine much. I, I just, I just do it for a few days. I downloaded a wallet. I think it was blockchain.com, the wallet. So it was kind of a mix of a centralized and decentralized wallet because you you did it on a on, with an email account. Um, but you also have the keys. So it was kind of a hybrid, something like that. Um, but yeah, I mined for a few days and and eventually just got bored. I was I was just a kid in that time. So I got bored and I just left it, left all my wallets. Uh, I forgot about all the keys. Um, t today is not that much money. It's not like oh, I wasted a million dollars or more, but now nah, I just, it was like $50, $20, something like that. So, so that's okay. I should have mined more, but it's okay. So but when, in the pandemic in 2020, I started in, I started in investing in traditional stocks. I, I stumbled a lot into traditional finance and personal finance. So I decided I wanted to, to start investing just like everyone else i invested in in co in coca-cola invested in intel you know in all the traditional companies and in february 2021 it was uh many people started talking about nfts right it, there was a huge nft boom in that time uh nfts were selling for millions of dollars left and right and everyone since i was the investor of the family, I wasn't that much of an investor, but everyone started asking, okay, what are those NFTs about? What is Bitcoin about? So I, I decided to, to go back into it and start researching it. And I really became obsessed with the concept of tokenization, right? So I saw a huge opportunity in, develop the, in developing the tokenization industry. Uh, one, once you learn what, what you can do with tokenization, you understand that you can pretty much tokenize the whole world if you wanted to, right? So yeah. I decided that I wanna that I wanted to to dedicate my life to it and and start building this this industry and and eventually push the tokenization space forward. Um, so I did. I started building Token Allies, which is one of my main projects today. And way back in that time, in February, March, I think it was twenty twenty one, and. Yeah, you know, eventually it started as a tokenization company. So the idea was to grab companies from the real world and tokenize them to uh, do a, a token tokenomic system um, and just get them into Web3. One of the first choices I saw was, was Cardano. Um, at the same time, pretty much, I stumbled into Charles' whiteboard video and I just really fall in love with the with the vision he had, with the purpose he had. And yeah. and I realized uh, okay. that if I wanted to be... Sorry yeah. about that. Uh, let me interrupt you for a moment because I know that some of the guests uh, will have, um, you know, uh, another appointment. Um, but for sure, one of these uh, upcoming sessions, uh, you have to tell us more about uh, Token Alice. But let's move sure. on. Uh, but thank you for joining today and for representing also LATAM, uh, a growing uh, area. And uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, for the moment, sure. we'll continue with the next slide. Um, Davide. Okay, yeah, special thanks um, to several people, but among others to Hannah uh, Hale. Um, she has been supporting us uh, in the communications plan for Cardano Gives. And um, let me share my screen uh, for just a moment uh, because she sent us a video I would like to play. Um, 
So let me see if you can see my screen. Um, can you see my screen? Yes. Yeah. Okay, all right, let's play this. Hi, I'm Hannah Haile, and I am part of the Cardano Gives community. Uh, really excited to see this initiative come to life, but also um, what an incredible feat for the com community to come together and create something so important that gives back uh, to the community and the development of our ecosystem. Really excited for what's to come. Um, I support on all things communications um, and hopefully really excited to hear from all of you and um, what we're able to build together. Thank you so much. Perfect. All right. Um, so I will give back control to you, Davide, and we can go to the next slide, please. Sure thing. Can you see the screen now? Yeah, we can see the screen. Perfect. All right. Uh, also, uh, at this point, I would like to uh, to thank uh, the um, people from the Cardano Foundation uh, who have been uh, very supportive, um, Pierre, Alexandra, and Denisio. Uh, thank you so much uh, for having time for us. Uh, listen, uh, give us hints. Um, uh, also, um, yeah, give us information about which pitfalls uh, we should uh, take care of. So uh, we have taken all the hints uh, very seriously. Uh, and look forward uh, for a great collaboration and uh, yeah, uh, counting on your guidance going forward as well. In the next slide, we have listed also um, directed the De directed development foundation. And Simon, I think you are here, and maybe you can spend uh, uh, five minutes uh, talking about yourself, your journey, and about directed, why this all matters. Yes, thank you, Ricardo. Um, well, I got into Cardano in January 2021 when a friend of mine mentioned that there's this crypto thing, you know, they're interested in impact, they're, they're a bit more academically rigorous, and they are doing things uh, with first principles. And so I got interested, and I slowly learned more and more about the technology, and eventually we, uh, a few of my friends and I, got uh, some catalyst stipends, essentially, to build out what is now become directed, direct donations for education, where the idea is that we facilitate scholarships to needy, high potential students on um, on chain, so to speak. So you can see where the funds are going, uh, and it's peer to peer all around the world. Um, now, initially, we actually did not plan to do coding boot camps and entrepreneurship training, but that's what we do today um, because we think this is what could make the most difference. Um, now, uh, I have been fortunate enough to be able to work on this um, thanks to Catalyst because we got a follow-up grant uh, for the past year or so. And together with uh, Fasica and um Kidus and Moses and Christine and and about 20 more people from uh, probably some 10, 15 countries around the world, ranging from um, Australia to uh, the US to uh, even Brazil. So we have Tiago, uh, who's been giving us input. We've had Mark uh, in Australia giving us feedback and helping out. We had uh, Ricardo as well, giving support and feedback and input in various ways. Uh, and many of you on, on this call, um, I, I've, I mean, I've, I've recognized most of your names and you have um, either been part of the journey in some way or you've been cheering us on um throughout the, in the ether but i don't want to spend too, too much time on this um i'm very excited to see this cross collaboration because i think what's unique about cardano is that it is very much a grassroots movement it is very much global and it is the uh, sort of network state information but we need something to unite us all and this is one of these things 
Um, so I'm just really grateful for Ricardo because uh, you've been driving this and this is amazing. It takes a lot of time and effort. So I, I'm just happy to be able to support him whatever way I can. Uh, and I just look forward to see what comes out of this. Thank you so much, Simon. Thank you so much and uh, for what you do and also for um, representing the beneficiaries uh, as a stakeholder in drafting this, pro this project and uh, very much interested in your feedback also going forward. Uh, as you know, we will have a rotation concept, uh, but yeah, we need this perspective of uh, the recipients um, because there are plenty of challenges we might not be aware. Uh, and you have done this experience uh, in the last months uh, or years. Oh, yes, yes. So, I forgot to mention, so we are a registered charity uh, in the UK, but also we have a US 501c3 uh, charity. Exactly. So this will um, uh, this will be experiences that will help us to speed up uh, our initiative. Uh, so thanks for that. Okay, uh, David, can we go one more slide? Um, so what are the next steps? So uh, as mentioned uh, in the beginning, uh, we're going to do the different polls, quick polls uh, that uh, will determine uh, how you know our 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 initiative will be shaped. Um, for example, uh, which potential nonprofit organizations uh, um, will uh, be able to become part of the Cardano Gives initiatives? So we're uh, putting uh, down which uh, requirements we see, uh, but we want to double check this with the Cardano community. Yeah. Then uh, we're finalizing uh, the setup of the multisig um, to make sure everything is uh, is okay. Um, we are going to have. Um, um, engagement, of course, with questions, hints, remarks, etc., from the Cardano community, um, regardless of which channel the, those informations are coming in. We're making, we're going to make sure that this information is processed in this gitbook uh, and uh, that it's transparent for everybody. So how this uh, initiative is developing, uh, and also we are starting collecting ideas for collaboration with other Web three ecosystems. Um, because uh, interoperability and yeah, collaboration, I think, is key. Uh, at the end of the day, for the charities, it doesn't matter too much if it's only Cardano or only Ethereum or only Bitcoin or whatever, um, as long as we can establish good and strong uh, links of collaboration, um, uh, it will be good for the environment as a whole. Next slide, please. Okay. So uh, here you see uh, an extract of uh, our advisors and supporters. Uh, so they all have access to our uh, Gitbook uh, and are listed as uh, contributors uh, to the idea. And uh, yeah, um, some of them are here in the line. So whoever wants to step in and, and briefly say something like one minute, two minutes uh, about um, your role, your contribution um, and about yourself, um, that would be great. I think Logan, uh, you are here. Don't know if uh, some of the other um, persons are here uh, regarding this slide. Logan, are yeah, you still I can, there? I can jump in real quick. Um, hi, my name is Logan. Been in the Cardano ecosystem for a while now. Um, I'm part of the the team building the Clarity Protocol. Um, and what we do is we build governance and treasury management tools for Cardano initiatives, Cardano projects, Cardano protocols. Um, so yeah, I've been working closely with Ricardo and Marcus recently, um, just kind of testing out the tools we're making, including a, a completely on-chain treasury with um, automatically executing effects. Um, and then I did have kind of just one surprise I wanted to, ooh, I don't know, screen sharing, but... Um, uh, wait to the rights for one moment. Um, yes, Mark one second. Uh, you should have uh, the the possibility now, Logan. Not seeing it yet, but what I will do is I just I uh okay there it is got it. I wanted to show you this, so I just created a poll. Um, as you know, you guys are a decentralized community. It's going to be important for you guys to have kind of collective decision making processes. So within the Clarity community, I just created a poll um, that says, should we donate to the Cardano Gives movement? 
So if this gets voted yes, I'm gonna send some ADA over because you know this is the this is the season to be generous, and I really um I'm really excited for this this community to get rolling. Um, but it can also give you a, an idea of of one way that you guys could gather community sentiment and have polls and bounties um, to to get different ideas of what charities to donate to, whether something should be approved before it kind of goes to the multi multi sig wallet for execution. Um, but yeah. So you can email me, I'll put my email in here and then I'll send you just a, a governance token so you can get voting power for this. And hopefully we get a, a few yes votes so I can I can send that over. But yeah, excited to be working with this group. And um, yeah, I, I mean, governance and treasury management is is my passion and I, I we're trying to make easy to use tools so communities like this can keep popping up all over. So thank you guys. Thank, thank you. you. So cool. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the contribution. All right, I think uh, I saw um, someone from Smart Cities. Bjorn, are you in the line? Can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you. I hope you can. Yeah, well, how that works. Hi, hi, everyone. Nice to meet you. My name is Bjorn, co-founder of Smart Places. I'm very excited to learn so much about what you guys are doing. Um, sounds, sounds amazing. Uh, maybe in a nutshell, some few words about Smart Places, uh, social ecosystem on Cardano. So we are le leveraging, uh, on the one hand, um, business uh, engagement, on the other hand, uh, geolocation, that is um, what we mainly do. So actually developing two tools, on the one hand, our mobile application, so that's actually an explorer tool for you as a user in real life situations, so you can reach out to other users, but also can find um, attractive and um, just current uh, events or also business offers. All you do is you actually uh, switch to, the, to your map and then you will see, for example, augmented reality, uh, items, 3D elements, or also holograms of our partners. You will then just switch to the cam view and can grab that stuff. Um, secondly, and that is already live, is our NFT land plot map. Um, so we divided the world into small hexagons, and each hexagon is a representation of the real world. You can buy those land plots as an NFT, um, and each um, NFT, um, if you're owner of that, you later will be rewarded for user activities on your plot. You also can promote that, for example, terms of reaching out to users, onboarding businesses, or in general onboard further people to the ecosystem. Um, yeah, that brings me actually to um, to how we want and can support here. Um, we would actually like to share some of those, uh, or donate, um, let's say that way, um, some of our NFTs to you guys. Um, so I was speaking with uh, Ricardo about that. So um, to the uh, regional town halls, um, each of you guys can have then some of those NFTs. You can use it, for example, to add information about your community, uh, your area, things that are uh, interesting, important, where you think uh, it makes sense to share that with the with the, your environment or in general the world. Yeah, and we are. Uh, we hope we can support through that. Um, again, I, I love what you what you guys are doing, um, and um, we'll definitely try to learn more about uh, about all that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank and, you. And very generous of you. Thank you. Really appreciate. I was looking at the website. It looks amazing. So very professional. And looking forward to get my hands on that on that app. Yeah, looks really professional. Very very cool. Thank you All so right. much. Um, is someone else from uh, one of these projects on the line? If not, we can go to the next slide. I think that uh, Oski just joined the um, the conference. Yeah. So it would be amazing if you can say something. Oski, hey, my friend. Are you there? Wolf Wolf. Yes, I'm here. How's it going, guys? Yay! Hey. Welcome. Welcome. Well, so tell us about yourself, about your journey. And um, yeah, just we're wrapping up maybe two minutes. That would be great. And, uh, you know, uh, how you see this uh, topic of, um, yeah, impact in the Cardano ecosystem and, uh, yeah, your role. <laughs> that would be great. Right. So, you know, the, the Cardano ecosystem is 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 ever growing. Uh, I think we we've all if you've been here longer than six months, uh, you'll see that the dynamic changes from month to month, uh, week to week, day to day. Um, and I think one of the, the most important things that we as a community can work on is is onboarding new users. I mean, if you want the Cardano ecosystem to grow, you can't depend on uh, the foundation or IOG or anybody else. Like it's not uh, a single individual's responsibility. Uh, it's the responsibility uh, for all of us uh, as community members. And 
sometimes it's difficult. Sometimes it can be uh, intimidating. Um, it almost feels like soliciting sometimes, especially when you do it face to face. Uh, I've gone to a few events and have interacted with people and, you know, uh, tried to onboard and th that can be challenging. Um, now, as far as, you know, the role that we all play, everybody's different, you know, um, the, the role that Hosky plays versus the role that, say, World Mobile plays, totally different, totally different audiences, totally different um, segments. Uh, but there are niches that all of us can can fill and participate and be part of. And, and it's it doesn't have to be difficult. It doesn't have to be about um, convincing somebody. Uh, it needs to be about showing them what options uh, blockchain unlocks for them, what sets Cardano apart um, from the main and I don't even want to say what sets it apart in the blockchain space. That is important. But what sets it apart from current fintech, you know, uh, banking system 2.0? Um, this is an international town hall. Um, and, you know, if you've ever tried to send money uh, across borders, it can be a pain. Um, originally, I am from Mexico, so I still have family out there, my grandparents. And wiring money is annoying. It's a pain. Um, but crypto breaks down those barriers because I can literally push a button on my laptop and they can have uh, access to those funds immediately. So it's really about knowing the needs of each individual and um, explaining to them how blockchain addresses them. Uh, adoption is not an easy path, um, especially for a blockchain that isn't heavily backed by VCs uh, or pumped by VCs. So it, I think it comes down to each individual within the blockchain. It's not even about projects. Projects can help, and they do address certain needs within the community. Uh, but ultimately, it's it's down to one-on-one uh, -on -one interactions, in my opinion. Very true. Thank you so much for joining us today and for giving us advice uh, in building this initiative also from the communications point, point of view. And yeah, very much looking for your help and support reaching out to the globe. Um, I, I think you are one of the most distributed tokens uh, of all times in, in Cardano. And um, yeah, thank you so much for, for being with us today. Davide, can we go to the next slide, please? Okay, so Patrick Tobla, unfortunately, is not here. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I think uh, some of the entries are repeated here. But I, I saw Pi um, at some point in time. Uh, unfortunately, I think he left. Uh, he's from Sunday Labs, um, and he was also uh, giving us some guidance uh, also in the in the uh, part of the voting. Um, but yeah, let's go please to the next slide. I think Ras is here. Um, Ras from Sustainable Ada. Ras, could you give us uh, some words uh, on what you do? And uh, yeah. Hi, Ricardo. Hi, everyone. Good evening. Um, well, firstly, I just want to say thank you for bringing us all together here. Um, the follow on from Hosky um, and hearing, hearing what he said, um, it makes me think about the power of people, um, which is one of the reasons why I was drawn to this community, uh, because uh, I was teaching, teaching uh, sustainability, humanities, and if there's any any fellow teachers here or parents, I think um, you could perhaps relate with what <laughs> uh, Hosky was saying about the feeling of soliciting, you know, trying to speak to someone and understand and, and listen to their needs. And when you know you have uh, something that would be of benefit to them, you know, how do you impart that? How do you share that without sounding preachy, without sounding like you're forcing it down their throat? Um, and this is what inspired me to go deeper into the ecosystem and discover Catalyst. And, and you know, realizing that a lot of the, the information online is fragmented and not necessarily impartial. You know, there's a lot of politics at play here. Um, but knowing that this technology can be used for good knowing that it is already being used for good, but this, has, this hasn't actually reached you know, the, the masses. Um, our, our efforts with, with Cole, uh, my co-founder, we decided to put our efforts and create sustainable ADA so that we could capture the stories across the community 
across the continents and and give a voice uh, a mic to, to those to those people those projects um and yeah for the past three years now i've met so many inspiring people uh across the world and i think this is something that um doesn't get perhaps broadcasted enough outside of blockchain and web3 and cardano is that people are here uh, at all hours of the day uh, sometimes they work full time and they're doing it in the evenings and it's for noble causes. And this is exactly why uh, I was really resonating when, you know, when you, you reached out to me, Ricardo, uh, Marcus and Davide, because, uh, you know, unfortunately the world's full of so many problems and people can look around and wonder how to solve them. Right. So one question is, uh, why is our government not doing it? Well, we know, uh, uh, just learning from history that. You know, it comes down to the people on the ground, ground floor, at the grassroots level. Um, and if you spend enough time in the community, you, you will start to understand what needs solving and, and who can help. And I think this is where the power of decentralization comes in. And, you know, hats off to Logan as well. Thank you for, for coming here with, uh, with your tools and solutions because uh, I'm really <clears throat> hopeful because there's a lot of reason to feel cynical, right? And apathy. And and it, it comes down to that constant struggle to not slip into despair. And, and the only way to find a way to do that is to surround yourselves with people who are, you know, doing good um, and uh, collaborating. So, yeah, I'm really grateful to be to be part of this initiative. And, you know, we work with um, nonprofits, uh, with our uh, Streets of Ada, Sustainable Ada, and Impact Web3. Um, thanks to Catalyst and the community of voters, we've been able to, to support a nonprofit based in France and Indonesia um, and work with artists to introduce you know, very new concepts. Blockchain and crypto can be very abstract. So it comes down to you know, what is the actual impact and value for people in a real sense. Once people see that they can have um, money, uh, more of it to help them do good people start to realize oh this is something real this is powerful our governments uh, aren't providing for us but the international community is reaching out so you know that can sometimes sound cheesy and uh, you know this is the season for giving um, but at the same time um, i believe this is something you know that can be perpetual that's the power of smart contracts and, and whatnot right um, we, we laid the foundations today and you know, hopefully generations to come can can take the the uh, the, the light and keep keep going so yeah thank, thank you, you so thank much you. Raz. thank you for representing sustainable ada but also for joining us as an individual uh you're doing great things and um thank you for being always accessible to us uh, when we have some questions about nonprofits, etc sustainability um amazing uh, we have Nori, uh, Nori Nishi, ya, Nishigaya. I hope you, I pronounced your name correctly, Nori. Um, maybe we can go back to the slide where we had uh, the different town halls because Nori represents the Pacific town hall. Uh, and uh, yeah, Nori, stage is all yours. Maybe you can um, tell us for two minutes uh, who you are, what you guys do in uh, the Pacific town hall. Um, and uh, after that, we will wrap it up. This one or the one before? Uh, uh, yeah. Nori, are you there? Mm. We know. <laughs> okay. In that case, yeah. Okay. Um, my name ah, is Nori. Nori. Yes. Uh, from, welcome, uh, welcome, welcome. Welcome. I'm from the Pacific Town Hall. Um, we meet every other Wednesday um, and cater to the Pacific time zone, um, PST generally. We get a lot of people from the West Coast of North America, Canada, and the US, but we also get people from Australia, New Zealand, Singapore, Tokyo. It It's in their morning, so it's kind of a nice, convenient time zone for that kind of people. We usually talk about anything Cardano, Catalyst, things that are going on. Yeah, okay. and we also host um, the Vancouver Cardano Summit. So we put on events as well to gather the local community together. So that's kind of what we do. Thank you so much for being here. And David, mm -hmm. there is one last slide where we have two QR codes. I think it's important that we put them uh, on the screen uh, for the people that uh, are watching this on the stream. 
Um, so two links on the left side, uh, you have uh, the link to our Gitbook documentation. So this is a living document. Um, this is going to be changed and adapted as we go along with your feedback. Um, and uh, we want to make this all inclusive, transparent, and um, yeah, good for the ecosystem. Uh, feel free uh, to um, get back to us uh, with the normal channels in X and Discord um, or uh, on Telegram. On the right side, uh, you see the link to uh, an open area. We call it Cardano Gives Community Area. Uh, so join us there, uh, ask your questions, give us hints, um, and um, yeah, that's it for today. Um, I think we can wrap it up, Marcus and Davide, and uh, yeah, to everybody, um, lovely that you had the opportunity during these stressful times to join us. Um, I know family is in the foreground uh, at this time of the year, but really, um, for me, uh, you guys are also part of my family, and I love you all, and uh, thank you for being there. And Simon was doing the Puji Cat. <laughs> yeah. Ciao, <they're... laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, folks. Happy Christmas. Happy Merry holidays. Uh, Happy New Year. All the best. Thank you for hosting so great. Happy New Year, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Ciao. Bye. We'll see you next year, guys.